Context engineering is everywhere right now. But I know what you're thinking. Andy, I just spent months learning prompt engineering and building AI agents. Now, there's another thing. Here's what the team at Cognition, the genius team behind Devon, discovered. Most agent failures are not model failures. They are context failures. It's what every AI company is raising to master right now. The shift from simple chatbot to actual AI agents that can do things. And even if you are not building AI, understanding this will completely change how you think about where AI is heading. In today's video, I'm going to break down the what, why, and how of context engineering. Let's dive in. Before we dive into context engineering and how it relates to prompt engineering and AI agents building, let's first understand the context window. Here's what's really happening. Andre Karpathy explains it perfectly. LMs are like a new operating system. The context window is like RAM. When your computer runs out of RAM, it slows down, crashes, forgets what you were doing. Same with AI agents. Every message you send, every response it gives, every piece of information, it all goes into this RAM. And just like your computer, when it's full, things start breaking. That's why your AI agents forgets your instructions, gives generic responses, or completely misses the point. It's not that the AI is dumb, it's that we're not managing it properly. As Lawrence from Langchain puts it, Contest Engineering is the art and science of filling the context window with just the right information. So what exactly is Context Engineering? Imagine you're preparing for a specific task, but your desk is cluttered with unrelated documents, random sticky notes, and unnecessary tools. You are overwhelmed, distracted, can't find what you actually need. This is how most people interact with AI feeding it too much irrelevant information. Now, picture your workspace optimized precisely for your current task. Only essential documents neatly laid out, exactly the tools you need, and nothing distracting. That's context engineering. It's the skill of providing AI exactly what's relevant at exactly the right moment. So it performs better. According to Len Chain, there are different types of contexts. First, instructions like prompts, memories, field shot examples, tools, descriptions, etc. Second, knowledge like facts, memories, etc. Third, like tools, feedback from tool calls. All right, so how is context engineering related to prompt engineering and reg? In fact, these are not isolated tools. They are all part of a bigger idea. Context engineering. Prompt engineering is just one slice of the pie. It's about writing good instructions. But those prompts still live inside a context window. Without good context, even the best prompt falls flat. Same goes for REC, Retrieval Augmented Generation. You are using a factor store to fetch relevant documents and inject them into the model. That's context engineering tool. You're shaping the model's context with targeted information. But there's more. Memory helps your AI remember things across sessions. State or history tracks what happened so far in a conversation. Even structured outputs like JSON schemas or planning steps are part of how we engineer context. This is why Dex says everything is context engineering. Whether it's prompts, tools, memories, or retrieval. It all comes down to what goes into the model's context window and how well it's managed. So if you are already doing prompt engineering or building rack pipelines, congratulations, you're already doing context engineering. Now let's learn about why context engineering matters. So when AI breaks, hallucinates, drifts off topic, repeats itself, it's rarely because the model is bad. It's because its context got messed up. And Drew outlined four different types of context failures. First, context poisoning. Sometimes AI hallucinates and that false information gets locked into memory. Now the agent chases imaginary goals. For example, when playing Pokemon, the DeepMind's Gemini agent would occasionally hallucinate while playing. Poisoning is context, like goals and summary. So it kept making completely wrong decisions based on that hallucination. Second, context distraction. If you keep dumping new content into context endlessly, the model starts overfitting to the backlog. That's what happened with Pokemon playing Gemini Agent. 
Even though Gemini 2.5 Pro supports more than a million token contacts, once the agent's history passed 100,000 tokens, it looped through past actions instead of planning ahead. Third, context confusion. Too many tools or irrelevant information can overwhelm an AI. The Berkeley function calling leaderboard shows this clearly. Every model performed worse when given more than one tool. Even when none of the tools were relevant, models still call them. That's context confusion in action. Fourth, context clash. Context clash is when you accrue new information and tools in your context that conflicts with other information in the context. Here's a great example of context confusion in action. On the left, the model gets the full problem upfront all at once. The accuracy score is 98.1%. On the right, it's split into five smaller messages. Just like a real chat, the accuracy score drops to 64.1%. Why? Even though all the information is there, when the model receives partial information over time, it starts answering too early. Those early incorrect guesses stay in memory and end up polluting the final answer. As the researcher says, when LM takes a wrong turn in a conversation, they get lost and do not recover. So these are the four major ways context can break, leading to hallucinations, loops, and bad decisions. But here's the thing, even more complex systems don't solve this well as well. In fact, they often make it worse. According to the team at Connection, the creators of Devon, Running multiple agents in parallel usually results in fragile systems. Each agent makes its own assumption, but those assumptions are not properly shared or tracked. And the takeaways? Do not build multi-agents unless you have a full theory for managing context across agents. Without solid context engineering, shared memory, compression, and controlled isolation, multi-agent systems tend to break down fast. That's why, before scaling out with agents, you need to master context engineering first. Now that we have covered what context engineering is and why it matters, let's break down how to do it in practice. Langchain and other experts highlight four key approaches. First, write, persist what matters. Don't lose your intermediate thoughts, capture reasoning steps, decisions, or tool outputs in a scratch pad or memory store outside the intermediate context window. This preserves both short-term and long-term context, enabling the AI to build on what it has already learned. Second, select. Rather than dumping everything back to the window, dynamically retrieve only what matters from memory, tools, or external docs. This keeps the AI focused on the present task without context vote. Third, compress. Token limits matter. Compress lengthy conversations, tool results, or histories into concise summaries. This maintains meaning while freeing room for fresh context and avoids noise and cognitive overload. Single-threaded agents can be simple and reliable, but they often fail because some agents accumulate context leading to overflow or conflicts. So there's a better way. Cognition describes this. Instead of letting context balloons explode, use a compression model that compresses a history of actions and conversation into key details, events, and decisions. This is not just streaming. It's intelligent curation. By summarizing past dialogue and decisions, the agent retains what matters and frees up space for what's next. As context that preserves clarity and prevents bad assumptions from lingering. Keep context purpose-driven. Use separate windows and possibly separate agents for different tasks. Each handles its own memory and workflow. When complete, pass on only the distilled outputs, not the entire noisy history. So these four approaches form a tight loop that dynamically builds the right context for every model call. So to wrap it up, we talked about what context engineering is, the skill of feeding AI the right information at the right time. We explained why it matters, because most AI failures today are not about the model, they are about bad context. And we explored how to do it using four strategies, write, select, compress, and isolate. This is how you move from generic wrong responses 
to reliable AI that truly understands and adapts. Every engineer is a context engineer. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.